And we're back in New York. I'm back with my friend Mason. He brought me here to begin with. And we got the MacBook Air M2 with us today. We got a crazy day ahead of us. And yeah, I love this thing. It's portable, light, and powerful. Perfect for a day just like this. And here we are leaving Bushwick, Brooklyn on a hot New York summer day. That's where our Airbnb was. And uh, it's definitely a more rugged area, but I really love the vibe. Uh, and speaking of the weather, which I just mentioned, I was not prepared for that at all. New York is hot during the summer, especially in July. Uh, but yeah, it's all part of the fun, all part of the struggle. Speaking of struggle, we had to transfer to a different train because the downtown train wasn't running on this platform, but you know, all part of being in New York here. And then we are getting out of the subway into the Lower East Side where we're going to meet up with a friend at a shoe store here, but we can enjoy some of the scenery and scum shots, the MetroCard parody on a mailbox. Uh, but yeah, here we are making our way to a shoe store called Extra Butter. And uh, we're meeting up with uh, the one and only Yo, Isaac. Yo, what's going on? I see you. Check out some shoes. <laughs> Naturally, we immediately had to stop by a gallery. This is Isaac's vibe. And honestly, you know, sort of looking at his apartment and looking at this place, I definitely draw some parallels. And it's super cool just to see him in his natural element. Uh, I've never been to a gallery before and I definitely got to go back to one when I come back to New York. All right, so we're heading to Only NY to get a tote bag. I've been using his Milano bag and if I lose it, he's gonna kill me. He got this in Italy, so we got to get that because I got to have a nice tote bag to put the uh, MacBook Air in. Here we are in the flagship only NY store. Uh, love this brand, Isaac put me onto it and uh, I'm already finding a tote. I also decided to buy a shirt. This one looks super sick and when I tried it on, I knew it was coming home with me. And uh, here we are with my tote that I bought for the MacBook Air, super cute. I think it represents us on this trip. So once my MacBook Air was safely in my tote bag, we decided to make our way over to Little Italy to get some coffee, but of course enjoyed the environment along the way. Fiat Cafe was our place of choice. I've been here actually a few times and decided to put Isaac onto it. Uh, Mason and I have been here as well. I think the last time I was here was with my friends during like March time and yeah, love the environment. I decided to take my MacBook Air out and get to work on answering some emails and going through my Notion schedule. That's how I like sort of manage the things that I do in my day. The trackpad and keyboard are wonderful and the screen on here is really great too. Love the overall small, thin and light form factor with this laptop here typing away as you can see with the magic keyboard. And um, I decided to uh, cheers with my friends with the Bellinis that we got, you know, some alcohol at <laughs> 11 a.m. or whatever time this was. Okay, I can never go wrong with that. And um, our cappuccinos are about to come out here, which was a signal to me to just stop and enjoy the moment. All right, we're gonna get lunch now. Where are we going? Fico's Italian special. He knows the places, I'm just trusting his uh, taste. Spot. Isaac knows the stuff. Let's go. So Mason and I decided to order $18 meatballs, sandwiches, which were so good, but way too much food all at once. Uh, and yeah, we just admired the inside of the store and I loved this drink. And so we decided to eat our sandwiches outside of FICO's. Um, wonderful hot weather, but hot sandwiches, you can never go wrong with that. And after this amazing lunch, Isaac had other things to attend to in the city. So we peaced out and parted ways. I got my tote for the MacBook, but who needs pants for this restaurant we're going to? We're going to peak at Hudson Yards, and there's no dress code, but you want to look nice, so. Yeah. Going to Old Navy. Get some pants. <laughs> Don't expose me with that. And so he went into Old Navy, absolutely no shame in shopping here. And I decided to sit on the street and uh, take out the MacBook Air to edit some photos that I had imported from the previous day. These are raw files from my A7 IV, nothing to scoff at. And the MacBook Air handles it so wonderfully with its gorgeous bright display and the powerful M2 chip. Not only that, it's so thin and light and like I could just balance it on my knees here and in my hands, absolutely no problem. So editing these photos was a real joy as I waited here. And look at this sick shot that um, somebody got. 
out here. Just want to admire that. And uh, Mason came out to get me, and so we moved on with our day. We then decided to head back to our Airbnb in Bushwick to clean up and get dressed up for this restaurant that we were going to peak in Hudson Yards once again. We had a 515 reservation and as we got home, we slowly realized that we were gonna be probably late due to traffic, but here we are with our fresh fits here, some business casual type attire as we strut to the uh, subway platform so we can uh, be late to this restaurant reservation. I actually had to call them and just be like, hey, like there's traffic. And uh, yeah, we just had to rush. Um, we had to transfer trains, which was a little stressful. And here we are just running through the uh, subway here. Here's the last train we had to take to the Hudson Yards sort of, I guess, exit. And uh, this is where the fun begins. We start to rush around. It was actually really fun, um, very tiring though just climbing up all these stairs and this is such a fun shot um we actually legit had to run to make this reservation time was running out here um but hey you gotta have fun with it and this is where i almost died trying to climb up the steepest escalator i've ever been on i think we're gonna make it we gotta get there by 5 30 but we gotta sprint up to the top floor But we did finally make it up the elevator and into the lobby to check in. Uh, the hostess wasn't too mad at me, thankfully. But yeah, we uh, sat down, took a breather. We were both drenched in sweat, ready to eat at this fancy restaurant and go up 100 floors to the top of this building here. And as you can see, you can see the skyline. I'll show you more of that later. There you go. Look at that. Incredible views in this restaurant peak at Hudson Yards, by the way, my jaw was dropping because we got to sit so close to the window. And now you can see the Empire State, you can see the World Trade Center, you can see pretty much all of Manhattan. It's just so beautiful. And of course, the Hudson as well here. And uh, we got drinks first. I got a drink called the Bee's Knees. It was like gin and something else. Really wonderful drink. And there's the World Trade Center, the most beautiful building in the world, in my opinion. And uh, then we split some monkey bread or not monkey bread. They called it some other fancy bread. And uh, I got steak. I got filet mignon and my friend got some pork something and uh here we are just digging in the food was excellent it's not like michelin star or anything but the view is what you pay for and you're about to see that here as we exit the restaurant we then go down to the observation area called edge and um the great part about this restaurant is if you buy the food you get the edge a complimentary with the meal which i think it costs by itself 50 bucks and look at this beautiful view here as i pull out the macbook uh, air to shoot the thumbnail for this video and yeah it's just a wonderful place to go if, if anybody's going to new york for the first time definitely consider going here the food is great and the views are too dinner was amazing we made it uh fortunately but we had to stop by muji which is this nice little japanese store in hudson yards and i bought five more packs of this this is uh candy yuzu and king Kana. it tastes like the discontinued altoid tangerines if you know what those are they are my favorite candy and i am addicted so yeah <laughs> gonna buy some <laughs> We then made our way to the High Line, which is another nice little spot in Hudson Yards. We just wanted to walk around for a minute after our meal, you know, burn some calories. And then Mason had to go. He was going to go back to our Airbnb. I was going to meet him there. And then I just decided to walk over to a bench and get to some last minute work here. Just, you know, open up my laptop and type a few things out. I'm sure I will tell you what I'm doing in a moment here. Well, the day is almost done. I am checking off some boxes in Notion here just to make sure that I got everything going on for the Day in the Life video. And I'm just going to answer a couple emails and just enjoy this beautiful scenery on the High Line near Hudson Yards. I don't know why I looked so scary in that last shot, but I just was soaking in the gorgeous environment here, the architecture mixed with nature, and just enjoying how thin and light the MacBook Air is on my lap. I'm used to the MacBook Pro being really thick and heavy, but this thing is thin, light, and just big enough to get work done like Notion and email responding and document typing the keyboard's great as well and i brought it on the subway too to get some more work done here on my way back to the airbnb i decided to do a little bit more photo editing here until i just had to turn my brain off for a minute and just close my eyes and enjoy the rest of the subway train ride home Arriving back in Bushwick was amazing, even though it was hot. Our Airbnb was nice and chilly, but the day isn't over yet. I still have to do some creative work, preliminary creative work to be specific on this video here, which involves me airdropping all the footage from the iPhones that were used to shoot this video. Airdrop is great when it works. And uh, yeah, the file formats are small too, even though I shot a lot of footage 
um, I was able to import it really easily and start to do a little bit of, you know, organizing and color grading for a few shots here. Although iPhone footage really does look amazing out of camera. And then it was time to put the MacBook Air away. It has been a long day. It was definitely time for me to go to bed here and plug in the MacBook Air that was working very hard uh, with the MagSafe power adapter. Of course, very convenient. And uh, that's a wrap. And that's a wrap, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just had a blast in New York. Shout out to Knoopsy, AKA Isaac, and my buddy Mason for making that trip phenomenal for me. Also too, I just wanna share a product that I wish I would have had on this trip. Full disclosure, I work with this company. Uh, this is the Moft 3-in-1 carry sleeve. I forgot to bring this and I'm mad I did because I wanted to keep more in my tote without scratching my MacBook and that's exactly what a sleeve does. It keeps your MacBook protected. This is faux leather, it feels very, very nice. And um, also too, the special part about this case is that it's inspired by origami, so it unfolds like this. You can pull your laptop out, but you can also use it as a stand in two different angles here. Let me see if I can actually do this. It's very easy, but I'm stupid. Um, first, you can have it in this sort of orientation right here. It magnetically adheres like that, so you can just open up your laptop and get to work here typing without getting carpal tunnel in class or at home like I am right now. There's also another angle you can do too. It's a little less steep here. I think it's this, and um, here, let me see. Yep, that's it, and uh, yeah. Same energy, same kind of typing format, and uh, yeah, it, it serves as a carry sleeve as well, so you can throw more into your tote bag or whatever bag you have your laptop in without worrying about scratching it. So I'll leave a link to this in the video description if you are interested in checking it out. And that about wraps things up. I hope this video was helpful, or not even helpful, just enjoyable. I always say helpful. This was very enjoyable to shoot and edit and upload, so I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more stuff like this, and as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.